Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box where you can also find the current list of reading services I offer. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Virgos, I'll be channeling messages for the collective of your sign, and then we'll tie it together also with the cards that will be showing up. I feel like there's something here about the month offering you chances to soften up, to be in a more soft, easy flow. Uh, to learn how to deal with circumstances, particularly of conflict, in less aggressive or uh, defensive ways. There's something here about a particular rough mechanism some of you have, where you can really become hard on yourselves and in others, judgmental, that life is trying to push you to see how it is uh, preventing you from having many of the good things and the good fortune you crave, how that mechanism in particular can end up creating a lot of, um, it's like it contaminates the possibilities of relationships thriving and other things thriving thriving in a way that would suit you i feel like there's something here about the things that suit you because i feel like some of you virgos in, in july can understand that you might have many options but the ones you can really manage and even those have you know it's concerns it's specific you know it takes work, even those that, you know, are for you, that you need to be selective, basically, that's what I want to say, because it, you have to choose things from things and from people that you know suit you, work with you well, that where there's um, enough ground to build from, where there's enough compatibility, enough understanding, respect, and uh reciprocity those that have very different levels of you know compatibility with you of um, mutual interests similar values is something that you might give a lot of energy to and end up realizing is a waste because as I said many times when you're dealing with things like that what comes to the surface it's that mechanism and you can then spend a long time in conflict, spend a long time uh, fighting, spend a long time um, struggling with things that even, you know, are not that important or not, you know, that don't have that space and room in your life. And learning from this can be something quite significant, July, like what you give energy to and how to give less energy um to things that don't belong in your life, that don't suit you, and give more with softness, kindness, and love, and tolerance for those that do, that do suit you. Because I feel like you have an, an interesting mixture, it's a little bit like a Seven of Cups influence, so you have an interesting mixture of good options versus less positive ones, and you need to differentiate that. You, may, you might be trying to study um, you like to have this very analytical and study a lot, all of them, going through all of them. And I feel like even that might not work well with you because you might spend a whole month or more than that studying, studying, studying options that have very strong points to show you right from the start that they're not, you know, the best ones for you. So he's trusting a little bit more your knowledge of the self and how you work and what you like and how you function 
and respecting that respecting your nature and so what if your nature is a little bit more you know perky or or different or you know have its own issues than others so what it it is it is something here about the fit it has to fit if it doesn't fit or if you have to make huge sacrifices or become a person you don't want to become or activate in you a lot of tension no in July, you will know also that something is right when it makes you feel good, when it makes you feel comfortable, when it makes you feel soft, when it allows you to be more in a feminine expression of yourself, receptive, caring, loving, um, when it's something that stimulates your creativity, when it's something that stimulates basically the most um, relaxed state of being. When it's the opposite, it probably isn't for you or there's an issue you're not seeing in that. Outside of it, I feel like Virgos um, are like, there's something about taming your anger. So it's like spirit wants you to hold back a little bit. When you feel like going for the jugular or lashing out, even if you have reason, forget a little bit about that. Take a step back and really look again. Does it matter? Will it make a difference? Is it that important? Because many of you could be fighting for things that your ego tells you it's important in the moment, especially to defend yourself from perceived attacks or injustices to your ego. But if as you break it down, you will realize it's just, you know, spending time and a lot of energy in things that are not important not really and what is important what verse versus what isn't is so big for you right now in july i also feel like there's a lot of questions so you might have a lot of questions a lot of questions a lot of doubts you might be making you yourself might be very inquisitive right now and making sure you're making question after question after question Again, to gather that sense of security or safety, you need to make up your choices, to make your choices, make up your mind. Um, but you could also be very questioned right now, and this can be annoying. It can be activating that defense mechanism I was speaking about. You could have people questioning a lot your decisions, your choices, your lifestyle, anything that you're doing that, again, feels different or odd or just not like the usual common choice or path. There could be a lot of pressure in that sense of you being questioned. And again, when you're going through that, the challenge is to not move into a space where you're defensive and angry and frustrated by the fact that you're being questioned, but you're more like you take it as, um, you know, you relax, you don't give it importance and you answer to what you feel you need to answer, you know? You are at peace with your choices. It goes down to this. You are at peace with your choices. And if you're not at peace with your choices, there needs to be some investigation in terms of the intentions behind them. And you can change. I also feel like there's something here about you can change them. Whatever you've chosen, that if you feel like right now is not working anymore, or you regret it, or not necessarily what you want to do, you can change it. I feel like some of you feel like you can't, but you can. You can change your mind. It's your pride. Again, that mechanism that is not allowing you to have, you know, the change of heart or the change of minds that you are absolutely entitled to have. Um, there's, there's here like energies of... Uh, something about the masters and the... And the teach the, the like the teachers and the students in particular the masters and the and the followers. So you could be you are in an interesting time, as I said, the period to study and learn in general as well. So it could be one of those months where you can read a lot, write a lot, gather a lot of information through books or you know, any other kind of uh, accessible information. 
you can be more focused to study, more interested also in studying things. But you could also be in a moment where you can feel like you need to teach or you need to put out there what you feel does not exist when it comes to your own um, personal beliefs, choices, examples, views on situations. It is about what for you is very different how you see things how you work on things how you believe on things so it's like feel compelled to teach but from something you don't feel exists out there or there's very few information or examples for those in the academic world studying in college or things of that nature this can be a time where you can excel through your intellectual competences so there's a lot of intellectual pride as well throughout your life, things you can, you know, achieve. Nine of Cups. So, again, be very mindful of how your life is filled with miracles and blessings right now. And even if you feel like it is not. You're going to start to recognize, you're going to be pushed to start to recognize more of the blessings than of the problems, more of the goods than of the flaws, you know, the right things than the flaws. Look at yourself with a very Nine of Cups vibe in the sense that you look at yourself, you look at your life, and even though there would be things you would still like to have that you don't right now, you have so much that you're grateful for. Working on gratitude can make a whole difference in the flow of the month and what you get out of the month. But also, the Nine of Cups is like this energy of wish fulfillment. But to have your wish fulfilled, you need to know what you want. And I feel like for, for many of you Virgos, that's the challenge. Do you know what you want? For sure. Once your heart is set on what this wish is or the most urgent wish is, um, the universe will conspire to bring it to you like fast, but I just keep getting like a lack of organization here. Priorities, intentions, mixed feelings. So until you get this right, like the map of your dreams, of your wishes, of your desires, like organized. And also in a way that they work well together. Your manifestations can be off or you can feel like constantly on edge about the things you used to want and once they are here, you don't want them anymore. And so it's this constant dynamic of being very interested and then losing interest or being very enchanted by something and then being very disappointed. But the Nine of Cups favors you again once you are in your heart space, soft space, grateful, generous, caring, emotional energy. So it is a time that even though here you can have most of the accomplishments in, out there in the world, so your mind is this very powerful instrument. You know, the mind can tend to also be very critical and judgmental and uh, hyper-focused on things that can really be not relevant, you know, uh, not essential. So, the thing is that I feel like you have other things in your life pushing you to approaches that seem the right ones many times, but end up not being. When you're not responding from a warm, soft place. This does not have to, to be say that you have to always be lovey-dovey and understanding of everything and forgiving of everything. But there's something, a response in July that can be so harsh, so difficult, so judgmental. Again, 
so defensive that it can be pushing you out of the nine of cups and you need the nine of cups to be uh, emotionally fulfilled to be in a positive energy flow to get you closer to what you want so in doubt choose love in doubt choose to, to care choose to listen choose to be soft a softer even like with yourself so i feel like you might at times uh, be irrationally led and jump into conclusions and see yourself really in distorted ways the moon is here affecting your judgment so it is not a time to rush into conclusions because things within you are messy as i said and you need to organize here the system before you really make up your mind or get to a conclusion that feels like very serious especially about yourself or about something in your life you could be again very fascinated um, by something or the appearance of something but as it gets closer to you you can shiver and, and again shut down as I said and bring up that system and if that happens I feel like there could also be like this could be like a trauma response all right it could be a trauma response but exactly because of that it is that you need to be more mindful than ever of your triggers your responses the way you're built to know when you're being negligent to good things to know when you're being when you're sabotaging, you know, the fortune, the blessings that life wants to offer you. And then repeat the cycle of insatisfaction and complain. The nighttime can be extremely important in July. There can be a lot of important dreams offering you hints. Um, there can be just like a very uh, easy... Um, the nighttime facilitates uh, in a better way manifestation. So working on manifesting things you want during nighttime can be very effective. And also working on reprogramming your mind during the nighttime and sleep in sleep states. Um, you might feel unclear and this is what is bringing anxiety most of the time it's like you're feeling clear about the future you're feeling clear about the future for some of you it could also be because you're not you have not been yeah creating it and this is also what spirit wants you to change look nine of cups is of cups creating from love from your genuine soul interests is what will open that gate for the future you can see right now or that path into a future thing you crave and it could be that in reality more than anything you crave to live a life that is very very fulfilling very um emotionally um connected with other beings where love and kindness and happiness and togetherness and a sense of community is it but maybe you have not been working um actively to build a life like this you have been working against it for some reason and july offers you here an opportunity to transform like something big where you have been so far distant from the essential, the positive flow, the positive creation, the positive um, vibration that then takes you out of your misery. Moon and five of pentacles, out of lack, out of, again, constant victim mentality or sense of loss, abandonment, 
need, lack. So the needs are being reformed here from the needing to have just for the sake of having. For the need to experience and be a part of that experience fully, soulfully. It's a very soulful month, but you might try to make it differently. Um, if you're concerned um, with your love life, I feel like actually there's a lot of good things coming. You're manifesting a very deep, profound healing love or you already have attracted that into your life but things are unclear right now this is not about objective solutions and how do you call it and um it's not like very, the path in july it's not about what's clear it's about how you move through the feelings how you move through the flow of energy you could be extremely sensitive and others too very sensitive to your energy. So there's an interesting intuitive psychic bond formed with people right now. You can feel when absolutely when they're not well, as much as they feel when you're not. But you also can feel when they're really loving you. And I feel like also there's a lot of transmission of love without words. That is very important to you and very healing to you right now. So I hope you have a great month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.